All right, I believe I've hit record. It'll probably notify you guys shortly. Okay. Yep. So. Okay, there we go. All right, I'll get started then. Thanks, Davis. Mm -hmm. All right, good evening. Um, this is the water main replacement in the area of Holmes Road to Kelly Road, East 139th Street to East 150th Street's public meeting. Thank you all for joining us virtually as we work through these um, virtual public meetings for these projects. Next slide, Davis. A couple of logistics and protocols to go over before we get started. We are recording this meeting. So we will post this meeting to our website after the conclusion of this meeting in the next day or two. Um, anybody that's missed the meeting live that can um, have access to this recording and you can revisit anything if you have any additional questions or anything else. Um, we will also be monitoring for questions at any time during this presentation. If anybody has a question, please use the raise your hand feature within Teams or feel free to interrupt us at any time to ask a question. If you are on the phone, if you dial star six, that will unmute yourself and you can ask your question that way. At the conclusion of the presentation, we'll also have an opportunity to ask additional questions of the project manager and of our contractors. So if you don't get your questions in during the presentation, we will have an opportunity at the end of the, the presentation as well. Next slide, Davis. So tonight I want to introduce our team that we have on the on the meeting. We've got Matt Bond, our deputy director here at KC Water. Myself, I'm Melanie Jollett. I'm the water distribution division head. We've got Davis McDonald Macklin. He's our project manager for this project. Uh, we have Sean Allen is actually not on the call tonight, but he is our resident yeah, inspector for this project. And then we also have Chad Haynes, and he's the project manager for Haynes and Associates, who is our contractor on this project. Next slide, Davis. So I'm going to turn it over to Matt Bond, and he's going to give a quick background on our utilities that we that we serve here at Casey Water. Thanks, okay. Melanie. So Casey Water is a department of Kansas City, Missouri government, and we operate three utilities, the water utility, the wastewater utility and the stormwater utility. So you see all three of those on your bills. Next slide, please. So to do that, we uh, have uh, quite a few assets uh, in the ground and above ground. So we're talking tonight about uh, a water main replacement project. So that's part of the 2,800 miles of water mains we have. Uh, those come from uh, 18 pump stations and a single water treatment plant north of the river and uh, lots and lots of valves and fire hydrants. Uh, collect the, the wastewater from uh, our customers uh, and take that to six wastewater treatment plants. I utilize 39 pump stations, another 2,800 miles of sewer mains, and lots of manholes. And then we also have our stormwater utility with about 630 miles of storm sewer and a similar number of uh, pump stations, uh, storm inlets, and we also maintain the levees uh, that protect Kansas City from floodwaters. Next slide. So uh, to do that, we protect our water source. So uh, we make sure we clean up uh, all that wastewater, take it back to the river for those uh, downstream of us and do what we can to protect uh, that wonderful source of water that we have. We're very uh, blessed to be a river city. And with that, uh, that's all we have. If you have any questions afterwards around the overall operation of the utilities, be sure and let us know and we'll get those answers to you. Thanks, Matt. So I'm going to go into a quick little description about our water main replacement program. As Matt mentioned, we have over 2,800 miles of water mains throughout our distribution system here in Kansas City. Some of these mains date back to the 1800s, and so we do have some aging infrastructure within our system. This aging infrastructure is a nationwide challenge. It's not something unique to Kansas City, but it is something that we have prioritized um, to address. So what is unique to Kansas City, um, to KC Water, is we did develop this water main replacement program about eight years ago. And the goal of this program is to replace 1% of our aging infrastructure every year. And that equates to about 28 miles every year that we replace. As I mentioned, we're in our eighth year of this program. And to date, we've replaced more than 200 miles of water main. Next slide, Davis. So how do we identify which mains to replace and when to replace them? Uh, Casey Water does have a pretty, um, pretty unique um, software program that we've recently purchased. 
And this helps us look and calculate the risk of water mains that we have in our system. And so what we're doing is we're looking at the likelihood and the consequence of failure of each of our mains. So we're able to look at features such as age of pipe, um, water demand that's not going to be delivered if, if a main is out of service, um, break history on those mains, um, certain certain criteria, likelihood and consequence of failure, and we're able to calculate a risk of a main. So we're able to take the highest 28 miles of highest risk mains every year and develop projects that are replaced. And we develop design projects with design professionals throughout the city, and we design new mains that are um, zinc-coated ductile iron mains that are wrapped in a polyethylene sleeve. This gives the new mains about a 100-year design lifespan, um, and so the operation and um, maintenance costs on future mains. Sorry about that, I've got some dogs barking. But these new mains, There we go, sorry about that interruption. But our new designed um, water mains have about a 100 year design lifespan. Um, and so the operation and maintenance costs um, on these future mains are reduced. Um, additionally, we're able to increase capacity and flood protection to our customers with the new mains that we install. Next slide, Davis. Okay. With that, I'm gonna turn it over to Davis and he's gonna give an update on this project uh, specifically that we're talking about tonight. Davis, you are muted. Sorry, I was I was barking like a dog earlier. Um, my name is Davis. Um, good evening, good afternoon. Uh, I'll be your project manager for this project. We've got we've got two segments here, uh, kind of out south of town. Uh, we've got a segment along East 139th Street, runs from Holmes to um, not quite Prospect Avenue, but pretty close there. And then we have another segment that's along Kelly Road. That runs from about 147th Street to 155th Street. So these are these are the two segments that uh, encompass the scope of this project. Um, it's it's a combination of of different size mains, but it's about 19,000 feet of um, water main replacement, and uh, there's some six inch, eight inch, um, I believe, um, even even larger. Uh, I'm looking through my list here, um, six eight. Um, I think there's a 12 over there. So um, that's 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 really what we're um, what we're trying to replace here. Um, and let me go on to the next slide. Uh, so on your, I guess this slide is just trying to outline what happens um, on your on your street, kind of how you'll be affected by by the construction. Um, the 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 process is kind of in, kind of in depth, but the contractor will arrive on site. Um, uh, utilities will, will start to be mark, marked, they'll pothole and uh, kind of verify that the design plans match what's in the ground. Um, you'll start seeing some traffic control as far as detours or lane closed. Um, next, the street will be saw cut. Um, so thing, the, the roadway will be shut down in that, in that area. Uh, they'll start to excavate uh, uh, along the proposed alignment. Um, then they'll install the new pipe and cover it in gravel. Um, the The next step is the temporary connection, which that will be one planned shutdown of the existing water main in order to tie in the new water main to the old water main and provide water. That'll be pressure tested and disinfected. So during that time, um, you may not see a whole lot of activity, so it might seem like um, the contractors came in, tore up your street and left, uh, but there, there, there is a little bit of downtime there to um, sample the main and make sure that uh, it is approved for service and clean to drink. So once, once that happens, um, there'll be water in the old main and water in the new main. Um, the existing services will be on that old water main and they need to be transferred to the new water main. So um, that's, that'll be the next step. And if you have a meter inside, 
uh, that'll that'll get moved to to outside of your property, which makes it a little bit easier to access and um, uh, just kind of helps helps with convenience. Um, the next step is to uh, once once everything's transferred, uh, there'll be another scheduled shutdown, which will tie in the the uh, other end of the new water main and will abandon the old water main. And last but not least, restoration, which is probably the thing that um, most people are going to see and remember as far as the construction activities goes. So that'll be when um, you know sidewalks, roadway, um, driveways, anything like that will be restored. And then if if any landscaping or grass um, in in residence yards gets disturbed, that'll that'll also be replaced. So that's that's more or less the flow of events in a in a nutshell. Um, so I'll go, go ahead and go to the next page here. So this is just kind of, you know, again, what more more what to expect. So um, there'll be con construction equipment rolling around the street. Um, there's there's designated working hours unless there's some sort of um, emergency. So hopefully hopefully uh, no one's going to be woken up by by any of the construction activities, whether it's in the morning or in the evening. Um, I think I think the biggest things to kind of point out is that the that your water service is going to be interrupted at various points throughout this project. Um, and so recognizing that it's an inconvenience, um, the the contractor is to notify all the residents of any any planned shutdowns uh, 48, 48 hours prior to scheduling or to um, initiating that that shutdown. Um, so that's something where we're 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 going to communicate our our intentions as best as possible. But sometimes, if say there's a a water main break on that existing main, hence while we're replacing it, there might be an unscheduled shutdown, which um, the contractor is going to work to remedy that, and um, you know not not leave anybody without a water overnight. Um, the next bullet point here just says affected curbs and driveways. Um, that'll all be restored to public work standards. Um, so, you know, if you if you have a concrete driveway, you're going to get a concrete driveway. Uh, if you got a gravel driveway, you're going to get a gravel, a gravel driveway. Um, any sort of uh, lawn areas will either be sodded if there was sod or be seeded if there's um, if it was just grass seed. And that's that's another kind of um, uh, point of the work where it's it's seasonal. So clearly we're probably not going to install grass or sod uh, it, when it's when there's snow on the ground. Um, so there's 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 certain times where the contractor might need to come back after the new water mains in place in order to um, install the sod or the seed in order for it to to actually take. Um, I think the next bullet point is, is probably going to be a, another point of frustration is that your 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 favorite way to get to your house or to work or however you do your business, um, it, it it's going to be impacted. Um, so that that'll be something to just kind of be mindful of with the with the uh, traffic control. But you know, again, we 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 the city we the contractor all want to get this project um, you know completed. We want to do it well, and then we want to um, you know just minimize that that impact to to our to our customers. So we're trying to trying to get this done expeditiously, but also um, accurately and safely. Um, and so as 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 far as what we're what our goal is here, it's we're trying to reduce the chance of a water main break in the future. So as Melanie indicated, that's this data driven approach where we kind of um, we evaluate the risk and the likelihood of failure on our existing water mains. And so this this these these two segments here were identified to be to be replaced. And then um, we'll also be adding fire hydrants uh, if 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 there weren't enough uh, based on the um the city standards there so those are those are some things to look forward to so we're going to inconvenience you but then the hope is that we're going to leave things better than we left it as far as the water main restoration and any sort of um uh, you know fire protection things like that uh this little infographic is kind of cool um it it, it it helps illustrate who's responsible for what as far as um the water main goes so over here on the right, you see the water main here in blue underneath the road, and then you see this red dotted line. This is kind of the um, the delineation between the customer's responsibility and Casey Waters 
responsibility. So typically it's going to be right here at the curb stop, which is um, that little valve box uh, in in your front yard. Uh, this this allows the city to shut off shut off the water. And then over here, here's your here here would be an outside meter. So if you have an inside meter, we'll move it outside. Um, so so again, everything to the left here, that's all the customers responsibility and everything to the right. That would be um, Casey Waters responsibility. So that just kind of helps um, what to expect when it comes to meter relocations. Uh, the next slide here, more or less the same thing, but on this slide we show the sewer main. So here's our water main in blue, sewer main down here. Um, this this red dotted line, that's the delineation line as far as what the customer's responsibility is and what KC Waters responsibility is. So as you can see, the the sewer lateral here, that's all part of the customer's responsibility up 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 to the point where it connects to the sewer main. Um, so those are those are kind of the two differences between the water infrastructure and the sewer infrastructure. All right, so as far as project sequencing and duration, uh, we're looking to start here in October and try to finish up in June of 2022. Um, like I said earlier, the, the contractors to, to notify everyone, uh, they'll be affected by any sort of scheduled shutdowns within 48 hours of, of doing so. Also be um, a project sign and just kind of, you know, again, set that expectation that there's going to be some, some um, capital improvement project going on in your, in your area. On here, um, this is a it's a pretty decent slide here. It kind of shows uh, ver various points of contact. It also shows um, the link that um, uh, the project's information will be available on uh, this 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 recording of this of this virtual meeting is is going to be on there. Um, but as you can see, Chad Haynes will be the project manager for the contractor side of things. Um, we got Jeremy Gardner. He'll be the superintendent for this project. So more than likely. The guy going to be um, out 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 in the field, um, you know, managing crews, and then we've got Sean Allen for the resident inspector. Um, he's he's actually one of the um, supervisors for the for for the South um, Inspection Office. So it it may end up being a different inspector, but um, this is this is a great point of contact if say there's any needs out out in the field. And then here's me. Um, I'm the project manager for Casey Water side of things. So really anybody here. Um, you know, reach out um, and let us know if there's anything we can do. So please, please communicate any sort of issues. We're more than willing to work together on this, and we're going to try to do our best on our side of things to communicate our plans and how they might impact uh, your daily routines. And then we've got the last slide, which is questions. So um, unfortunately, it doesn't look like there's anybody with us tonight, but um, feel free to reach out, use the use any any of these um, you know emails or phone numbers I would say reach out to me if there's anything specific that I might have missed or say you watch this video and you want to look at your specific residence and how that how this water main project is going to affect you be more than happy to go through that with you um, so really um, thank you so much and that's all I have to share thanks Davis um, thanks everybody. As Davis mentioned, please contact him if you have any additional questions. And I'm not seeing anybody on the call, so um, so I think we're good. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. So Davis, um, if you want to, just you can stop.